So far I've done the base coats of my Goblin Village huts. I have painted the silver, brown and the little wood stakes. Um, and we're almost ready to put on washers. When you're doing like the thatched roof, use a brown ink wash and for the rocks and the walls we'll use a black ink wash. Now I've added the brown ink wash to the top of the hut and to the skulls and to the stakes going around the hut and already it makes such a big difference compared to the non ink wash here. So once this is dry I'll then put the black ink wash around the stonework and the rocks around the base. Now I've done the black ink wash um, you can see it's ready for the dry brushing. Um, all the black has gone into all the recesses um, so it will give a really good effect and give shadow once I do the dry brushing. I'll be using the uh, stone effect from Games Workshop and um, I'll be using that on the rocks and slightly on the walls and once I've done that I'll come back now I've done the first layer of dry brushing um, I want to go back and add some earth shade to the miniature uh, for the rocks to give it colour and variation so I'm just going over certain parts of the rock following the recesses just gives good definition to the rocks because all the rocks are different. Once uh, I have this on I'll do green then as I love adding green moss effects to the rocks. Another thing you can do with the brown as well is put it at the, the bottom of the wall going around it gives a nice weathered effect and dirt going around the bottom of the wall just dab it all on and any excess you can take off of a tissue. Now the ink washes are done I am going to put um, a green dry brush of uh, Nurgling Green by Games Workshop and I'm going to put um, the green over the rocks around the base around the bottom of the hut and um, a little bit on the wood and I'll come back and show you that. When adding the, the green dry brushing, you're trying to get the green so it's all down at the bottom, like so. Try to keep it at the lowest point. And the same at the bottom of the hut. Just along the bottom of the hut like so that's it and the same with the wood at the bottom it gives such a good effect I, I, I love the
makes everything look old and used. And the bottom of the door too. Just like in like an old building. Got the mould and the moss making it look worn in. So you can see how that works already. I'll finish the other three huts and then I'll come back and show you. Now I've done the green, I'm going to add some foliage to the huts. Just here you can see there's gaps where the clay has shrunk. It doesn't shrink a lot, so don't worry about that. Um, but just places like here, I want some green foliage. This foliage is made with old dishwashing cloths, the old sponges. And all I've done is made it into tiny little chunks and then soaked it in green ink and then just leave it to dry. And that's how you make lovely little bushes. In a later video I'll show you how to make that. So what you need to do to place your foliage is you'll need some PVA glue, your cheap nasty paintbrush, and it's very simple and it's a really good way to hide little mistakes or any things you don't like on the miniature. So I'm putting some in here, just there, and then all you do is you take a tiny piece of your foliage and you can place it on the miniature. in. You can use cocktail sticks, matchsticks, anything you like. It's just a, you don't really want to touch the um, the parts of the foliage because normally it ends up sticking to your finger more than it does the model. <laughs> um, there you, are, you just start placing it around and that's all you need to do. You just put on your PVA glue stick on your foliage and I will come back once I've finished. So this is about as far as I can go this weekend. And that's three huts with all the foliage and the rocks done and the base. I'm very happy with these, they look fantastic. Next week um, I will do part three of this video uh, where I'll be showing you how to paint the tents and do the rest of the village. But I'll also be doing a video on how to paint skeletons. Um, nice Reaper miniature skeletons to add to your army list. Till next time.